passengers are experiencing delays as Delta recovers from a system outage. The airline says it canceled 110 flights just today, in addition to the 170 canceled yesterday. Delta's issued change fee waivers to affected customers. Channel 2's Tom Regan now live at Hartsville Jackson Atlanta International. And Tom, you found some people still stranded. Yeah, but we are seeing a big improvement in the number of cancellations and delays this afternoon, just a few of them. That's compared to the thousands who were left stranded when that computer broke down or the computer system broke down. This afternoon, I caught up with several people who are still waiting to catch a flight. Prayfully be on the 730 flight that's going today. Narwana El Shabazz is headed to Arizona to get a master's degree. In the meantime, she's had to master the art of patience at Hartsfield Airport. She's one of thousands whose flights were canceled or delayed because of a computer glitch, which Delta said happened around 6.30 p.m. Sunday when its essential IT system crashed. How long have you been here? Uh, two days. Passengers waited in long lines, some taking seats on the floor as Delta employees tried best to accommodate passengers left stranded. One woman described the scene when her plane pulled into the gate after sitting two hours on the tarmac. She told me none of the flight display boards were functioning. This airport last night was like someone stepped on an ant bed and millions of people were, you know, running around trying to figure out what to do and where to go. And the computer outage not only affected flights, it also had a major impact on Delta's website when passengers attempted to check in. I tried to check in last night just on the computer and on my um, phone and on different things and the um, system wouldn't let me down, it wouldn't let me in. And so then I kept trying different ways. Delta's CEO said the systems were back to normal late Sunday night, but the airline is still trying to catch up on flight cancellations. Narwana told me she's taking it in stride. I'm not bothered by it. I, I really am not, because it could be worse. Well, Delta CEO apologized to passengers for this major inconvenience. I spoke with a dentist who may have to apologize to her patients. She had to put them on hold after her flight was canceled. Putting together that part of the story for Channel 2 Action News at 6. Live at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, Tom Regan, Channel 2 Action News. Yeah, everybody just wants to get home, don't they? Thank you, Tom.